positive cases of COVID-19 can lurk anywhere, and they're starting to crop up in local classrooms. It's easy to get scared. Kwan Yin Nixon's daughter is a third grader at Mason Elementary. Nixon appreciates the fact Mason school leaders are now publishing weekly COVID case counts. And the fact that they want to be so transparent and, and let the people know that helps. It doesn't so much ease um, the fear of it, but it lets people know that they're not alone. As of Friday, two students and one staff member at Mason's five school buildings tested positive for the coronavirus. As a result, 44 students were quarantined for 14 days. Quarantine is a positive exposure, so if the student or staff member is within six feet for 15 minutes. Mason School Superintendent Jonathan Cooper says the two students who've tested positive are recovering well. The key, says Cooper, is waiting to see if any students in quarantine get infected with the virus. So that number could grow pretty quickly, as you can imagine, starting to look through the school day. But with 10,500 students, 44, that number is not huge yet, and but we're going to monitor that number because that's how we'll make decisions for us. Those decisions range from deciding whether the Comets can play Friday night football games to possibly possibly having students learn remotely from home. Cooper says so far, so good. We are very pleased with how things are going in the first two weeks. But Cooper and Kwan Yin Nixon know COVID-19 can change things on a dime. Patience is what is needed. And if you're patient with the school district, they're doing the best they can. Now, Ohio Governor Mike DeWine has made COVID-19 reporting a requirement for schools in the state. Many districts were already doing that. I can tell you in the Lakota School District, for example, four students tested positive last week, meaning 81 of their classmates are now being quarantined. Reporting live tonight, Todd Dykes, WLWT News 5. Todd, one thing I think a lot of parents are wondering, will all of these uh, school districts COVID-19 dashboards look the same or will they be different? Yeah, it seems highly unlikely, Sheree, that they'll all be exactly the same. Uh, Mason Superintendent Jonathan Cooper telling me that this, the governor's order did leave some wiggle room with how school districts report this kind of information. The key is that they're just being transparent. So that being the case, parents, if you're out there watching this, if you have any questions about the data dashboards you're seeing, you want to reach out to your district officials and ask those questions so you can know what that data is saying. Sheree. All right, Todd Dykes reporting live for us tonight. Todd, thanks.